3 a.m. in Chicago and pretty much caught the shuttle yep. uh, to the airport. Yep, and pretty much immediately hopped on the plane. We had to wait in line for the Delta counter to open up and then. Yep, took an hour. Yeah. And then pretty much got right on the plane, but only yep. walked over. We had our COVID test checked, our. Yep. Uh, St. Lucia authorization form checked. Yep, and then. Yeah, we got on the plane, went to Atlanta, yep. pretty much ran through that airport, yep, we, hopped on the next plane. We hopped off the plane, our first plane, at, <laughs> at like 8.53 and the boarding for our next flight started at 8.50 and we had to run across the entire airport and it's the biggest airport. So we got there and we pretty much hopped right on the plane. Um, we weren't the last ones, but it was a little stressful. Yeah. Yeah, and then... Um, Flew in, pretty much? Yeah, so yeah, six hour flight? Four hours, four hours, only four and a half hours. Oh, yeah. yeah All together, hours, it was six hours of travel. Yeah, and got landed here about two. Um, stood in line for about an hour to have our COVID tests checked. Yep. And then stood in, hour, stood in line for another hour to have our customs yep. documentation checked. And then... <laughs> And, and then, then rode in a car for an hour to get to the resort. Yeah. <laughs> and it was really cool driving through. We drove through like um, the community. And so it was really cool to see the different houses and different people and like how they yeah, live versus how, how we live. Right. Yeah. The driving is crazy. Yeah, there's no speed limits. Nope. No middle line. They drive on the left side of the road. And the driver is so sitting on the right side. Right side. Yeah, it was super weird, but um, the all their car was really nice. Yeah, all their cars are imported from Japan, and mm -hmm. all the writing in them is in Japanese. So yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So we got here at about five fifteen. Um, yep. And they walked us to the room. Someone brought our bags in. They gave us like cold towels and a drink. And like this, yeah, this Punch drink. fruity drink yeah. that Jake got rum in. Mm -hmm. I just had a plane, but they were really good. Um, and then they walked us here, they made us dinner reservations, they walked us through the whole week, like how it's gonna go, um, they're really nice. We jumped in the pool right away just for a second and then we showered and got ready for dinner. Yep. Had dinner at the Dashni. Super good. Yeah. It was really cool. The view was awesome. Mm -hmm. The food and food drinks were good. Yep. And then we came back, drank like a bottle of wine, and went to sleep. Yeah. Jake was worried that he wouldn't be able to sleep with all the noise. So there's. He has bugs and birds, and he's not a camper, so. Yeah, it was my. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd call this camping, but it's like you're still outside, and there's still a lot of noise. So I slept with earplugs in. It kind of <laughs> helped. Uh, I, I definitely got sleep, like I slept all the way through, but it was just kind of funny. It was funny. I was worried about it, but I'm good now. Yep. First full day. Yep. We got up and got some breakfast. We got it delivered to the room. Yeah, we got it in room, which was really nice. Yeah, and then we got ready and went to the Soul Free Experience. Yeah, so we went to the concierge and pretty much just waited and the taxi came and Took grabbed us. Place. And yeah. we then immediately went to the Sulphur Springs. Yep, and... The Sulphur Springs are just like a volcano that erupted here um, and then collapsed. And 
now it's like, like yeah and now it's like boiling like the magma down below is like boiling the water on the surface i don't know yeah. it's pretty neat it's pretty cool and then we um went to the mud bath yeah we went down below uh and there's uh some mud baths there also heated by the sulfur springs but it was like a hot tub like temperature. yeah yep it, it was really that hot it was really warm it was mostly like really dark water and then the mud they gave to us like and in we, a bucket. Yeah, and, and we put it all over each other. Um, yeah. And uh, they had a dark black mud that you were able to like put on top of the gray mud. And... Like handprints and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool. It was fun. Yeah, and then we got back in the black water to like rinse it all off. Mm -hmm. It was kind of scary going in there because you couldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. But it was pretty fun. It was a weird experience, but a good experience. Yeah, it was definitely interesting yeah um then we walked back to the to the taxi mm -hmm. hopped back in and we went to uh, a lookout point on our way to diamond falls um, which was he didn't it, that wasn't included he just our taxi was a really really nice guy yeah so he he Took stopped there and we got to uh see like this overlook of sufri and um it's a really interesting spot to stop i'm, I'm really glad he stopped uh, yeah that was really cool. And then we went to... Yeah, then we the went to Diamond, Diamond Falls, Falls yep. and the Botanical uh, Gardens. Um, yeah. Um, and walked around and they showed us um, a bunch of different flowers and plants mm -hmm. that are here on Which is pretty and interesting because most of them are imported. Mm -hmm. Like, there's not very many native plants here. Um, and a lot of them we had been seeing around the resort, so it was neat getting to see them and yeah. know what they actually and see are. Yeah, what they are, yeah. Yeah, that was cool, and then... We walked over and saw Diamond Falls, yeah. took some pictures there, and then we walked back and to went the to the mineral, mineral garden, yeah. The mineral or pool. mineral pool. Yeah, yeah, which, it was like, it looked like it was a pool, but with no chlorine in it. So it was like, completely fresh water. And then it just like, I don't know, it didn't really feel any different. It was just clear, warm water. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we soaked in it for 30 minutes. And they say that it's good for like sore muscles or joints, which we didn't have at the time. Right. Yeah. And then um, it's supposed to like help you look younger. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, then we uh, got back in the taxi and uh, went to this waterfall. Yeah. Um, and we got to swim in the waterfall a little bit, which was, it was really cold, it but it was kind so of refreshing. Um, I went in a little bit. It was really only like a knee deep yeah. for the most part, but the waterfall was super strong. Yeah. And yeah, it was, it was kind of refreshing to just walk in it. Um, we were only there for a few minutes mm -hmm. and then we got back in the taxi and our taxi driver then took us through the town um, just so we could see like the culture and the buildings and stuff, which was really interesting. Yeah, it was really interesting. Um, their, their buildings are really, really colorful. Yeah. Um, which is really pretty. Yeah. Um, and then, Unlike what we have at home, but... Yeah. Yeah. It was really nice of them to drive us around there, because otherwise we, we probably have wouldn't have seen it on this trip just due to the restrictions. Yeah, so that was really cool to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then after that, he dropped us back off at the resort. Yeah, we got some lunch, um, yep. and then we just pretty much laid by the pool the rest of the day. Like um, the resort pool, not yeah. in our room. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they have like chairs there that you can lay in and sun yourself, and then um, a pretty big pool that was also really chilly. But yeah, so we laid there until, I don't know, maybe 4.30. We came back and we showered and got ready for dinner. Yep. And then um, we went to dinner a little bit early and we yep. got some drinks. And there were lizards like all over us, like under our chairs, like all over our feet. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was kind of scary. Yeah. And then we uh, we came back to the room. We got some champagne. Uh, <laughs> we popped that and then watched some YouTube videos and, and went to bed. Yeah. All right, so Tuesday, uh, we got up, uh, we had a late start, so we called the front desk and asked them to push back our hike, um, and then we went to breakfast. We mm -hmm. we got 
got some breakfast at yep. the restaurant, and then uh, we pretty much just went back to the room, grabbed our stuff, and uh, grabbed a ton of water and a ton of bananas yeah. uh, because we knew we'd be hiking uh, this really strenuous hike um, yeah. called Pro Patan. Um, it's the the left huge mountain um, yeah. that we can see from our from our room. So yeah, we grabbed all of our stuff and then went to the front desk, and they were like, they were like just kept asking us, "Do you have enough water? Do you have snacks? Do you have enough water?" Like it, they were like hyping us up for something huge, right? Mm -hmm. We hopped in the taxi, yeah. uh, went to the Grofaton, it was only like a 20 minute drive, and then we uh, got out, mm -hmm. pretty much met our tour guide. Uh, and his... he walked us through like his community. Yeah. So like we walked like through the houses. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it was kind of scary, but kind of cool at the same time. Um, the tour guide was like our age, mm -hmm. and um, he, basically just walked us. Yeah, he was 23. He, he took us to uh, a bathroom we could use and then a uh, an area where they have this model diorama set up and he explained what we'd be doing. Yeah. Um, he said there was like four. Seats. Yeah, he said there was like four rest points on the way up. Or, sorry, three. three. Yeah. One for each quarter. Um, mm -hmm. And then we started hiking. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, yeah, it was pretty much straight up the entire uh, growth time. It and was it like, was like rocky, it wasn't like smooth paths, so we were extremely like... Extremely rocky, it was like climbing on hands and, and, and feet and... Yeah, then, and it was, the second half was a lot more strenuous, it was a lot steeper. Mm -hmm. Our heart rates were like 180 beats per minute the entire two hours we were climbing up. Yeah. Um, we stopped at a couple of rest points, uh, one each quarter. Mm -hmm. The first quarter had an overlook that you could see um, just the ocean and towards uh, a little community. Um, and yeah. then the second uh, outlook, the halfway point, had an overlook that you could see Jade Mountain um, mm -hmm. in that side of the island. Yeah, and um, then the third stop, you couldn't really see anything. It was mostly just trees. Yeah, it was just, um, just a resting point. Yeah, with benches and stuff. Mm -hmm. And every stop, we had a bunch of water. Yeah. We drank we were, quite a we, bit. We sweat completely through all of our clothes. Like, yeah, it was such a strenuous hike. I think it was by far the most strenuous either of us have yeah, hiked. Yeah, it was definitely the hardest hike that yeah. we both have ever done. Um, yeah, and then um, he had told us that like 40% of the people who start the hike don't go all the way to the top. Yeah. So we were then determined. It was a little scary that he told us that. Yeah. Um, and then we made it to the top. Yeah, we made it to the top. It took us about two and a half hours. There's a little tree house up there. Um, and yeah, and then we, we walked out and saw the view. Um, yeah. We sat there for a little bit. Had our bananas. Resting. Yeah, yeah eating a snack. There's a bunch of mongoose up there. Yeah. Eating our banana peels. Yeah. They were kind of cute. They were crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, and we got a ton of pictures up at the top. You could see uh, the Vieux Fort uh, mm -hmm. and, the, and the airport we landed at. Um, yep. You could see Ladera, the resort we're staring at. Um, yeah, there were, we could see so much from up there. And honestly, like, the pictures that we took were like, they look like a painting. It was yeah. really cool. Yeah. And then um, we started to hike back just, down. Yeah, hike back down. It took us about two hours and 15 minutes to get up there, and then like an hour and a half to get down. Um, he didn't stop us for as long as two minutes of time on the way down. Yeah. It wasn't that bad. It was mainly, mainly just like watching your footing and making sure you don't like fall. Um, yeah. It was a pretty narrow path and pretty treacherous all the way up, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so just going down, we just had to... Be careful. Yeah. I started getting blisters on my feet, mm -hmm. uh, on the back of my legs, so I grabbed any socks and... Yeah, I went down the rest of the, the hike with no socks on. Yeah, I was worried that I would get blisters too, but your feet looked really red, so. Yeah, thankfully. Okay. Yeah, thankfully my uh, or your socks were really able to yeah. to help, and I, I wasn't able to like or I, they didn't start bleeding. I was really yeah. worried about the blisters to start bleeding. Yeah. But yeah, it didn't. So then uh, we walked back through the the park uh, mm -hmm. at the bottom, and then. Uh, back through the little uh, community um, that the tour guide lives in. And our driver was waiting at the end for us. Yep, our driver was waiting for us. We hopped in his car and headed back to Ladera. Yep. Um, 
we were just so dead tired. Like Yes, we were thirsty, hungry, and tired. <laughs> like literally we walked into the resort and yeah. dropped our stuff at our room and immediately went to the restaurant. They weren't even serving lunch, but they were like, hey, we just got back from hiking, can yeah. we eat? They're like, yeah, sure. And we told them what we did and the um, the lady who sat us looked at the, the bartender and was like, I need four glasses of water. Yeah. And so they brought four glasses of water over to us, which lasted like Three five seconds, minutes. Yeah. yeah, we were so thirsty. And then and we both ordered like a pretty hefty lunch. Mm -hmm. And it was yeah. gone. <laughs> then we went back to the room and passed out. Um, yeah. Jake said he wasn't going to sleep. But then I knew I was going to sleep. I fell asleep. And then I woke up and he was next to me sleeping. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So then we got. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of rest. I woke up yeah. feeling horrible. Yeah. Like, I had this huge headache and my stomach didn't feel the best. And honestly, I, even though I drank like probably close to a gallon of water, I was probably still dehydrated or yeah. or just super low energy, one of the two. Right. And, <laughs> um, and yeah, so I, I drank some water, took some Advil and just kept drinking water. And I slowly, yeah, I slowly started to feel a little bit better and yeah. pretty much just ended the night just watching some YouTube videos. We um, ordered some dessert that yeah. we delivered. Yeah, we, that was our dinner <laughs> was a lava cake. Lava cake at like eight o'clock at night. Yeah. And then right. honestly, like at nine is when we were like, yeah, we're going to go back to bed. Yep. And we slept until seven this morning, so. Yep. <laughs> So we got up and got some breakfast mm -hmm. delivered to the room um, and then we headed to the lobby to get picked up for the ATV tour. Mm -hmm. uh, it took a, a 30 to 40 minute car ride yep. to the ATV tour, um, hopped out, put some helmets on that looked kind of funny yeah, and uh, we got on our ATVs. Yeah. Um, we were with two other couples. Yeah. And we were the only ones that had ever driven a four-wheeler before. Yeah, so that was um, kind of funny. And yeah, so we took off down out of there. I don't know, it was a really nice house. It was like a mansion. Yeah, uh, who owns the ATV yeah. tour yep. business. Took off out of there, mm -hmm. um, went to a black sand beach. <laughs> Our tour guide dug up uh, a hole where yeah. there were some sea turtle, sea turtle eggs. eggs. Yeah, they yeah. were huge. So that was that was neat to that see. Was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we got back on the four wheelers and we went to an old sugar no. mill. It was from like the 1700s. Yeah, so that was kind of cool to see. Yeah, there's some giant gears and there's a huge drive shaft um, that would turn and, and crush the sugar. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really neat to see. It was really cool. And then we got back on the ATVs again, and then we went to a different black sand beach. Yep, did some water crossings again through yep. the river, yep. uh, and then, yeah, finally arrived at the next black sand beach. Um, we just kind of messed around there. We were doing some sliding around in the yep. sand. It was, it was fun. Um, yeah, it was Yeah, and then we got off and we just hung out on the beach for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Talked to one of the other couples and just we got some pictures there. It was pretty cool. It was kind of funny, the other couples, you could tell they were struggling with the four wheelers, like the entire tour. They, I don't know. They kept getting stuck. They, would, they couldn't turn, they it, couldn't on. turn it on. <laughs> it was yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. The guides were always having to help them out. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was kind of funny, but yeah. it was fun. And then, on our way back to where we started, um, we stopped at this guy's house mm. who gave us all a beer. Yeah, <laughs> they gave everybody a, a piton beer. And, piton beer. Yeah, we had that. Just it tasted like the stereotypical like beer. Like if when you think beer, like if there was like a can that just said beer, <laughs> that's what it tastes. That's what it like. tastes like. <laughs> uh, Jake drank mine. Yeah, because she was <laughs> she's scared because she 
I was I was surprised she took one. I saw her take one. I'm like, huh, she's gonna try it, I guess. I didn't even realize that it was beer. Honestly, I was more like looking around where we were. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize it was beer. So I yeah. took it. I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe it's lemonade or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I accepted, and then I realized it was beer, and I was like, oh, what have I gotten myself into? Yeah. So I quick downed mine. Yeah. <laughs> drank half of hers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we went back to where we started, which was like only a few minutes. Yeah. Um, drank the beer. <laughs> Hopped back in the taxi, went back to the resort. Yep. And then um, we got lunch. Yeah. And then just hung out. Hung out the here. Pool. Yeah. Just kind of relaxed a little bit. Yep. And then we wanted to try a different restaurant for dinner. Yeah, so then we went over, like, it's just across the street. Yeah, it's like a five minute drive, or I mean, a five minute walk. Mm -hmm. It was Rabbit Estate uh, Hotel Chocolat. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's literally. So it's this chocolate plantation that yeah. has literally chocolate in every single dish, or, oh, or, or cocoa so in every single cocoa. dish. Yeah, it was so good. Mm -hmm. It was so so good. Like they brought out um, bread with different like dipping sauces and butter, and like two out of the three were chocolate flavored. Yeah, and um, yeah, and then we both got a steak that had like. It's like a chocolate. Cocoa yeah, co on it. yeah, it was like a cocoa gravy. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was really good, and then. For dessert, we did a what, like a like, nine plate. It was a nine. It was like all the different states of like chocolate. So like it started out with a cocoa bean, which was a very interesting experience. To yeah, eat. we ate yeah. that, and that wasn't like too bitter. You could tell there was like a hint of chocolate, and then we tried a hundred percent cocoa, and it was it was so, so bitter. bitter. <laughs> it was like the most bitter thing ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It almost tasted sour. Yeah, and it was. Yeah. It was pretty bitter. And then we did a like seventy two. It was like a yeah, it was an eighty percent chocolate bar, eighty percent cocoa. Lot <laughs> which was still very bitter, but it was better. It was a lot better. Yeah. And, and then, then the rest were seventy two? Yeah, the, 72? the rest were seventy two percent. There was cocoa. one that had like cinnamon on it, one that had coconut on it. Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Um just different like dipping. Like yeah. it was dipped in other things. So that was really cool. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Um, and then we walked back to the hotel and that was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. We woke up <laughs> and, and we got... Pouring rain. Yeah. We, we got some really cool pictures of the rain. It, yeah. was, it was like torrential downpour. Yeah. Yeah. And we had horseback riding scheduled, mm -hmm. which we were a little nervous about. But um, we were like, eh, maybe I'll stop by the time we leave. So we grabbed our umbrellas. Yeah, went to breakfast. Went to breakfast and... Uh, it didn't stop raining. Mm -hmm. it, so... It, it did stop for like a brief second, which gave us hope. And like yeah. these rainbows came out in between the pitons. Yeah, which was super cool. But yeah, and so we knew that the horseback riding was on the other side of the island. And so we still went. Yeah, we hopped in the taxi in the and hopes that after our hour and a half ride or whatever, it'd, it'd be, be done right. raining. And the taxi driver said, no. <laughs> yeah, he, and he told us, he, he was like, it's gonna rain the rest, or it's gonna rain until Monday. And we're like, are you serious? We he was like, sad. yeah, it's the raining season. And we were really sad, because, well, one, we had horseback riding scheduled, mm -hmm. and two, like the rest of our trip was Just out, outside. I mean, it's outside stuff, yeah. So, anyways, like a fast forward, like, 40 minutes, he calls one of his friends mm -hmm. who lives on the other side of the island and it wasn't raining over there. So we were really excited about that. Yeah, yeah. We got to the, the horse place and... Yeah, um, no rain. Yeah, there wasn't any rain. Which is great. We got really lucky. Mm -hmm. We hopped, we pretty much just hopped on the horses. We were the only people on the tour. Um, Which is kind of nice. It was nice. It really just felt like it was just us. Mm -hmm. Like the tour guide just kind of did his own thing. Mm -hmm. it was just there. Yeah. And we just kind of rode along the Atlantic Shore shoreline, uh, looking at the dramatic landscape over there. It's like a desert, yeah. and uh, the Atlantic Ocean is really choppy and, mm -hmm. and uh, rough. So it was. It was really cool. Yeah, it was neat to see. It's like completely different than the side of the island. The side of the island is like super green and, and, and calm and peaceful. Calm and peaceful. Yeah. The other side is like super rough. And, and flat and flat and super dry yeah super duper dry so honestly we picked the right day to do the horseback riding because it was yeah. wet here so mm -hmm. it was great 
um, and we got to ride the horses in the water, like on yeah. the shore. We got to ride on on a couple beaches mm -hmm. through the water. It was it was crazy, yeah. It was really cool. Something that I've always wanted to do. So mm -hmm. it was really fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then we stopped for a break on one of the beaches and just kind of hung out for a little bit. In the shade. Yeah. And then we went back. Yeah. Our horses were pretty small. They yeah. had really small horses. My horse was named Miles. Mine was named Miles. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, I don't know, it was a lot of fun. The horses took off running a hundred times. Yeah. The horse <laughs> took off running and M couldn't pull back enough to like slow him down. Like I was gonna. I, I was on Miles and I had control of him and I was gonna take off and like <laughs> head her off to like slow her horse down because I, mean, I was looking at, over at her yelling like pull back pull back and she was I was trying pulling to... back with all my might like the horse's head was like right here in front of me I was pulling back so hard but he was not listening mm -hmm. <laughs> and so he's just yelling at me and the, my horse is just taking off so yeah but it was it was fun. <laughs> Really Neither of them had ever kicked anybody off of them, so we were the odd one out of Yeah. Yeah, and then we got back to the stable, and the taxi driver was there. Yeah, he took us to this like hill above uh, yeah. Via Fort. Uh, there's the a White House. House. Yeah. yeah. And it was super cool. We were really super neat. high up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we took some pictures, and he didn't have to do that, so that was really cool. And. Um, it was really windy up there, and then um, we started our drive back to the hotel. It was like an hour and a half drive. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got we back. went through some like cities. Yeah, I got back to the. Yeah, we went through Via Fort. Yeah. Um, and there's just a couple other smaller towns that we kind of drove through on the way back, but yeah, we got back and just pretty much hung out the rest yeah, of the day. Yeah, uh, we, we were pretty tired. We did yoga on the top of the resort. Yeah. Um, there's this like lookout point that's pretty high up. Mm -hmm. uh, did some yoga on top of. It was, it was, cool. it was, it was just all like nice. stretching, stretching. Yeah. and like the instructor like took our legs and like stretched them for us. Yeah, it was perfect since we were still sore from the hike. Yeah, it felt so good. <laughs> yeah, and then we came back to the room. I think we swam for a little bit and then we ordered room service. Yeah. And just yeah. kind of hung out here. Yeah, we just hung out, just enjoying the view. Friday. So. We got up and ate breakfast, and then we got on the shuttle and went to the beach. Yeah, got to the beach. Um, we weren't expecting a whole lot because normally this resort allows us to go to Sugar Beach, but uh, they want to keep people separated. So we went to Malagrito Beach mm -hmm. and um, we were honestly pretty surprised. It was, yeah, it was really nice. A lot yeah. nicer than we thought it would mm -hmm. be. They had umbrellas and some chairs down on the beach and then had a restaurant there that gave us food and drinks. Um, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they had a nice swimming area and like a snorkel area above some of the reef that they have there. Yeah, we went snorkeling, which was so cool. We got to yeah. see- So many different fish. Yeah, we got to see some sea urchins. A lot of sea urchins. We saw these like, tube fish that we saw at the aquarium uh, yeah. this past weekend or two weekends ago now uh, and we we're happy that we saw them at the aquarium that we knew that they were fish because another couple was snorkeling and they thought it was a snake yeah, it was and like, they like it was started like screaming yeah. mm -hmm. and then we saw like some coral too yeah lots of coral mm -hmm. and uh, the there guy blue and yellow fish yeah there was some purple and yellow fish too uh -huh. the guy that was like working at the beach told us to make sure that we didn't touch anything so we were really scared because like some of the stuff was like yeah really there's high some up. there's some pink looking like weed i don't know what it was i don't but know yeah we didn't touch it we were really scared we were because, really like, scared of the sea urchins because we knew they would sting us and they were very pointy and there were so many yeah they were everywhere so we just stayed at the very tippy top surface mm -hmm and just used our arms to swim. Yeah. And yeah. so that was really fun. Then this guy named Blaze came in <laughs> on a yellow, yellow boat. boat and he had like weeds like all over it and stuff. And, and like he, a like, floating plant yeah, basically. Yeah, and he sold uh, coconut drinks and yeah. pineapple drinks and that was fun. That was fun. And then, yeah, we just really hung out for a couple hours. Lay down on the beach for a while. Yeah, we tried to shade ourselves as much as we could because we were already pretty burnt and like the salt water is like burning my sunburn. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, and then we got back on the shuttle and came back up to the resort um, and showered and just like freshened up. And then we went on the evening sail yep. for the sunset sail. Yep, got all dressed up and got in the taxi and uh, went to Sufri, uh, hopped in, or hopped out of the taxi and like mm -hmm. were immediately greeted by like these kids on the dock trying yeah. to, they gave Emma a flower and then expected us to pay them. Yeah, it was like a tiny little flower. <laughs> and they followed us. And they followed the us the all dock. the way down the dock onto the boat. Yep, and the the boat was pretty cool. So they had like, they called it trampolines, but it was like a net that you could sit on in the front of the boat. Mm -hmm. And we sat there for a little bit, but then we moved to the back of the boat when we started moving because we knew that we'd probably get one of us seasick. Yeah. And there was what, like four other couples, five other couples? Yeah, there's I think four other couples that we sat and talked to and uh, drank the punch with. And... Yeah, it was really good punch. We don't know what it was. Yeah. Maybe mango. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was, yeah. And one of the guys had just been to Platteville like yeah. a month ago. It was so crazy. It was, yeah. And then her family was like from the area too. So it was. It was fun talking to them, and it was a two-hour cruise, and the sunset was really pretty. Yep. Then we got off the boat pretty much right after the sunset, mm -hmm. and got to pop her first bottle of champagne on the way back. <laughs> yeah, I did. And everybody recorded her and was cheering. It was fun. <laughs> Am I gonna break my nail? <laughs> no. You'll break it. Yeah, you break it a little bit. Loosen it up. Okay, ready? Yeah, there you go. You ready? Yep. Oh, oh, right oh, 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 Played around in the in the room and yeah, yeah just room kinda, service. <laughs> yeah, we were just hermits. We didn't leave the room pretty much the entire day and uh, we just, were okay with it. Yeah, soaked it up. Yeah, we, we only get to see this view once, so it was it was fun. We just relaxed, took it all in. Yeah, it was great. Yep. And now today we are all packed up. Yep. And we're gonna hop on our flight home, head to Miami. Immediately hop on a flight to Chicago, and then uh, we'll stay overnight in Chicago and drive home the next morning, Monday morning. Yeah, yeah. we haven't got our uh, well, we got our COVID test results. Both of us were negative, so we are waiting for an email confirmation to get back into the United States. So yeah, which they've got a couple hours yet to give us it. So yeah, we're just waiting for that. <laughs> So we are stuck in Miami. We, we had a two hour, almost a two hour delay in St. Lucia. Yep. And so we, we sat landed. at that airport yeah, forever. We, we landed here as our plane was taking off to Chicago. So now we, we had to rebook for tomorrow morning. Yep. And American Airlines is providing us with a hotel room tonight. Yeah. And we are waiting at, for the shuttle now. Staying at the Sinesta. Um, we got lucky that we, so M waited for our baggage while I ran to the American Airlines counter. And we got lucky, we were one of the 12 couples that gets a room tonight. Yes. So. He was the first one there. And by the time I got our bags and we went through, there was like a pool of people. So we got really lucky. It was like a line of probably 20 or 30 different couples. And yeah. So now we're waiting for the shuttle and we're gonna order pizza and go to bed. <laughs> yep.